Because with this technology, I will be invincible. What should I make? Electric size? Multi-shot shuriken? Plasma swords? Oh, I just gave myself goosebumps. You want to feel? Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I have the Invisible Man, the Ninja Turtles cross Universal Monsters. This has been a series that I have been neglecting for the longest time. I love Ninja Turtles, but I only love the live action, uh, I guess, 80s movie? I thought it came out in the 90s, but I saw it came out in the 80s, so I was way off. No, the cartoon came out in the 80s. I don't know what I'm talking about. The live action from the, the classic live action Ninja Turtles movies. I didn't grow up on the cartoon because I wasn't alive, to be perfectly honest. Uh, so I grew up on the movies. Uh, the movies were my thing, and I've been desperate to get the entire collection. I, I need April O'Neil, I need Donnie, I need Leo, and I need Splinter. And then I'll have the majority of the guys I want. I also need like a, a foot soldier, and I need a couple other things, but the ones I care about, those are the ones I need. So I've been neglecting Ninja Turtles. Uh, I, I, I've only been looking for those specific ones, and I've been like, if I ever collect other Ninja Turtles, it'll have to wait until after I get the ones that I need. And then I was at Target, and I was looking, and I saw this guy, and I thought, that looks pretty cool. Um, I, I've seen these Universal Monster Ninja Turtles, but I haven't looked at them. I've seen them around and I, I the one at Target right now is the uh, um, Raphael as Frankenstein. This is Donnie as Invisible Man and then there's Mikey as the Mummy and I don't know who uh, Leo is. I think Leo is just like a generic like monster guy. I don't know who uh, Leo's supposed to be. And I also saw April as um, oh god, what's her name? The lady with the, the hair that sticks straight up and the white stripe. Uh, I've seen Casey Jones as uh, Dracula. So I need to get all those guys. I've seen more of those guys in stores than I've seen the movie figures. Uh, and then there's also the classic, the classic TV show cartoon Ninja Turtles which I'm not as into, but I really do, I really want a nice solid Ninja Turtle collection. The movie just came out, there's a lot of toys out right now. I'm not super into the, the more, the cheaper toys. Um, I think they look a little, they look fine at for kids, uh, but for me, I, I like something that looks a little bit better on a shelf. Uh, something that displays a little bit better. Those just, they look like they're kids toys and that's perfectly fine. Uh, but it's just not for me. I like things that are a little bit more... <sighs> not adult, but like a little bit more... Posable, I guess might be the word. Those look like more like knickknacks, like a... I don't know, like a... Like a... Basic of the wrestling figures, or... Um, the Marvel Legends that only bends the legs and that's it. Uh, obviously, they're a little bit better than that, but that's what they appear as. They, I, I don't know what I'm talking about, man. That's just how I feel about those specific Ninja Turtle figures. Uh, so I'm passing on those, and I'm looking for these NECA ones, because I'm really into the NECA series. I'm really into all the NECA uh, Ninja Turtles. Not necessarily all the NECA figures, but the NECA Ninja Turtles. So this is one I picked up. This is the first one out of this wave. I do plan on picking up more of them. I plan on getting the... Uh, uh, Frankenstein Raphael eventually and then hopefully from there I can find the other guys as I go uh, but this is the one that piqued my interest most I, I love Don Donatello is my favorite Ninja Turtle I love the Invisible Man so I thought wow okay this artwork here just caught me it looks so pretty I don't want to get rid of this box because how pretty it is I most likely will in fact okay here's the rest of the turtles so yeah Mikey as the mummy I don't know who that's supposed to be. And then Raph as the Frankenstein and uh, April as, I don't know who that is, um, but her. Um, I know who she is, I just don't know her name. Uh, but yeah, so I guess let's go ahead and get into it. Enough of this rambling, let's talk about the box. You have this wonderful artwork here on the front of the box. Uh, don't worry, uh, it's not windowless. 
because there's the window and I love that about NECA figures. It looks so good. It's so perfect for display purposes. You have a nice image right here of, of Donnie in his uh, attire, in his action pose. I love the display and diorama they have for this guy. I'd love to recreate that somehow uh, someday. I saw NECA also releases these uh, um, uh, accessory packs and I saw one for like Frankenstein's lab and one that's like a, a dungeon uh, that looks pretty cool. It's like a Dracula dungeon type thing. And I thought those were pretty cool, but I don't I, I don't know how to execute that uh, display wise. Otherwise I'd pick it up and use that to fill in the, the display. I really need one. I want to make a laboratory, I think is the next one I want to make. Either that or like an outdoor type place, uh, like an alien rock type place. Um, but right now this is what I have, this nice street city thing. Uh, you can see the figure right there, of course, everything he comes with, all the little bits and bobs. This is one reason I want to make a laboratory, because I have a lot of lab equipment. This would be another one, this glass right here. Stuff like that I could use to fill up the space. I have a few things. I would need more than that, but I would have a few things. Build a nice bookcase, that would be fun. Uh, so let's close that. Look on the side of the box, you have the Invisible Man, Donatello as the Invisible Man. Ninja Turtles x universal monsters there's a nice image of him down there at the bottom the same image that's right there NECA real toys on the back of the box you have this very classic style uh, um, this display this nice uh, it looks like one of those retro magazines where it's like watch behind you catch him if you can type of type of funness I, I love this I love the way it looks uh, you have all the different things Dunny can do um, and it looks great. You'll never see him come in because he's invisible and I love it uh, And then we're to the side of the box where they talked about this But these are the rest of the figures in the way missing uh, Casey Jones, of course, and I don't know if they're planning on doing a splinter and um, uh, 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 Shredder I don't know if they plan on doing those guys. I'd love to see him splinter could easily be Oh Gosh, who would you have him be he could he could be we don't have a Dracula yet. I think that would be a better Shredder. A... Well, no, Casey Jones is Dracula. He's like a vampire, right? So we need, um, who's left? Who, who's left in the Universal Monsters wave? The Wolfman? Is that who he's supposed to be? No, he's like Quasimodo or something. I think that's who he is, right? Oh gosh, I don't even know. Uh, but I'd love to see Splinter and Shredder show up in this wave. Uh, and now we're back to the front of the box so we can go ahead and transition to the figure itself. Okay, so this is pretty much all you get. You get quite a bit for your money's worth. Uh, these uh, NECA figures always come with a lot for how cheap they are. They're not like cheap, don't get me wrong, but they are valuable. They're, they have a lot of bang for your buck. Your money goes a long ways with these figures. Obviously, they're not as um, toyetic as other figures, so you do lose some stuff, but you gain a lot. So there's a lot of compromise here, but you get a lot of cool stuff with these figures. Starting with this head sculpt here, this is an alternate head sculpt. The one on the figure is more bandaged up. This one, the bandage is coming loose, and as you can see, it's actually hollow in there. He is uh, entirely invisible. Let me go ahead and shine a light on him so you can see a little better. You can see straight on in there. It looks so beautiful and so cool. I love, love, love that. Uh, you also have this book here, the TGRI book. Looks very, very pretty. This would look great on a bookshelf or just on a table somewhere in a display. Obviously, the TGRI is like the, uh, the goop that helped make the turtles what they are, so that's like a book on that. You have this nice um, microscope here. Nothing on the microscope is like movable. You can't like move any of the pieces, which uh, to some people that might be a, a bummer, but I think, you know, for what it is, this thing looks amazing. The, it's so small, but the attention to detail is so amazing. You have all the little bits and bobs you would see on a telescope. Everything looks amazing. Everything's well painted. So it looks amazing. I can't see why or how anybody could complain about anything with that. And then you have this nice little beaker here, of course, uh, with a little, uh, 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 well, I guess 
<laughs> meth pipe <laughs> uh, inside there. Crack cocaine inside the uh, beaker looks pretty good. Uh, obviously, this is science equipment. It's not. It's not meth or anything like that. Of course, we have seen scientists go astray before. Uh, in this little package here is all the different hands and bits and bobs you would want on the trigger. I didn't feel like uh, spilling them out everywhere and losing them, but. We'll go over them one by one, starting with the, uh, let's see, the feet. The feet work. Uh, let's pull these out. You have two invisible feet uh, to plop on there. The ones on the figure itself are, of course, bandaged up, so you can still see him, but these ones are see-through, and it looks beautiful, obviously. It's not perfect. You ha have to see the bits of articulation there, so that sucks, but everything else is absolutely beautiful looking. Uh, I assume it articulates well. It goes down and up and spins around, I would assume, fairly decently. So there's that. We'll plop those back on in there. I don't want to lose anything in this uh, case. Of course, it makes it hard to get the things out. Uh, you have this hand, which I believe is to hold on to uh, maybe this. Yeah, that works. So you have a hand for holding on to the beaker, and it looks good. Nice detail on the glove, the lines there, the bumps there, everything's textured. Feels nice, looks nice. We'll go ahead and set that back over there. Put that back there. You have this hand right here. This is more of an open hand for him to like exclaim or like, like what well, guys, we got to figure this out or whatever type of a thing you're doing with your turtles, whatever story you're telling, maybe one turtle's mad at the other and they're exclaiming at one another, but you know, this looks freaking good. I like that, it looks good. Uh, you have this hand right here. These are so hard to get out. This hand right here, pointing, looks good. Nice, uh, another story you could tell him. Maybe he's accusing somebody of something, maybe he's yelling at somebody or something, I don't quite know. You have this hand right here, which I believe will hold onto his staff. Uh, back in the background, there's the staff. This is perfectly made to hold that. This one, I believe, is just the other hand, which will hold the other side of his bow, his staff. Same thing, just on the other hand. Uh, this last one right here, last of the normal one, is another hand to hold the staff, I guess. It's the exact same thing. Okay, yeah, so I guess we just have another one of those. Maybe one of those hands is actually to hold the book, maybe? Uh, and then we have two fist hands, but they are invisible. Come on, come on out. So yes, these are two, oh, they're not fist hands. They are, I don't know, they're holding hands, but they seem a little small to be holding the staff. Uh, so you have two of these. These are for invisible purposes, so if you want him to look like he is coming apart, his bandages are off, you have that variation uh, across the board. The, the head, the legs, the hands, everything will work out like that. I'll put that back in the case so I don't lose any of those, because, uh, like I said, this is pricey. It's cheap for what you get, but it, it, these are still pricey. And then the figure itself comes with this hat, this beautiful looking hat. It just sits on there nicely. It, it's not like stuck on there anyway. If you bend him or tilt him in any certain way, it will fall off, but it sits on there nicely enough, I'd say. Pretty good looking. There's a nice look at the hat itself once it focuses. It's a nice little fedora. It kind of looks like what Raph wore in the uh, live action movie and then you have the bow here which is actually tied on to his back with these strings and you can actually untie these strings you have to be careful with that because they come untied fairly easily they're very hard to tie tightly um, without over tightening them so just be careful there uh, but that is where the bow can go let's see if it'll focus there we go. Nice detail on the bow, nice wrappings. It looks old and dirty and grimy and it looks absolutely wonderful. And then we're on to the figure itself. You have this head sculpt here. Of course, these goggles come off. This one isn't hollow. Uh, you can see the eyes are in there and it looks bonkers. 
but it still looks good. Um, I like this one. I just, I don't understand the hair. If he's invisible, why is his hair not invisible? That's one thing I don't quite get. Uh, but everything else looks fine. You have this nice, uh, like, scarf on the inside of his jacket, a nice sweater underneath that. You have the leather jacket over top with his uh, belt that holds his staff. He is still ninja'd up, so he has his elbow pads there, his gloves there, knee pads there, nice jean type pants uh, with the uh, bell bottoms, I guess that's what they would be called. His feet are wrapped in bandages, but his toesies are invisible because he is the invisible man, of course. Uh, and the back, he has his shell, which is invisible, and you can see he's been eating some pizza. It is inside of his shell. Looks beautiful. Uh, you can actually almost kind of see inside uh, his shell. If you could take it off, I'm sure you could look in there, and it would look cool. Uh, but obviously, you don't want to take this off and then ruin the figure. Um, as far as articulation goes, let's move that out of the way real quick. Starting with the head sculpt, it can go back not very much it can go forward pretty good uh, it can wiggle side to side rotates all the way around like so I believe it is on a ball joint on the neck and then the neck is on a ball joint in the body I believe that's what they're going for there the arms can come up to about right there pretty okay rotates all the way around like so double jointed arms pinless of course the elbow pad gets in the way it's not really something you can take off you can see uh, well, you can see if I show it right. You can see it is indented for the elbow pad to be on. So if you take it off, it's going to look odd. So it's not like a, a wrestling figure where you can just take off that part of the figure and have it articulate better. It's supposed to be there. It stays there. Keep it on there. Uh, but it goes to about right there, about 90. Not perfect, but eh, good enough, I'd say. Uh, swivel here at the elbow too, just in case, and at the lower part of the arm, so you have, like, if he wants to go that way, and then also, I don't know, rotate there. For whatever reason, you can do that. Uh, there's also a nice big button there. I thought it was a, a, a pin, but it wasn't. It's a button. Uh, the wrist can go in, the wrist can go out, and the wrist can go all the way around, like so. Of course, it's not focusing on the figure. Uh, as far as ab crunch goes, I don't believe there's too much. You can see what they do. They kind of cut the jacket in half to help with articulation. Um, obviously, if this was one big piece, it would make it more difficult to have him bend, but he still can't bend too much. He obviously wouldn't be able to anyways because of the turtle form, the tur turtle uh, figure uh, itself just in inhibits any form of articulation in the ab region so but he can go enough i'd say if you had the legs into it he can go about right there not too too much but you know good enough uh go away fly uh that means the legs of course can come up to about right there uh they can split but the jacket's in the way and it's not really something you can move out of the way they do wrap around the legs pretty good so there's no avoiding that uh the legs are double jointed not pinless, but they're double jointed and they're stiff as heck. Uh, and the jacket gets in, in the way, so you can't really see what it can do. Like I said, this is not something uh, that's very toyetic. It's mostly, I'd say, a statue that you can put in different poses. Um, but it, it looks beautiful for what you get. Uh, so that you can rotate the ankle like so. Uh, ankle goes down ankle goes up i would be careful in this area because i would assume this stuff will eventually the paint and the sculpt work will start to chip away uh eventually if you're not careful so just be careful in this area um and that is pretty much it for the figure itself i gotta say i love this figure i think it looks amazing i'd love to have the entire set of the ninja turtles I'd love to have an entire set of the Ninja Turtles in general, all the figures that you can get. Um, I, I I haven't had a complete team. I can buy the uh, uh, Out of the Shadows or whatever it's called, um, the new Ninja Turtles movie. I can buy, what is it, like a five or six pack of those figures and I would have all of them plus April and one of the bad guys. But like I said, I'm not super into those figures. I'll have to look at them a little bit more closely and see if I like them 
Um, but it's one of those things, I don't know. Uh, I'm more into like this when it comes to turtles than I am like the, the toys, you know? Um, because they're not gonna articulate well, so you might as well have them look good while you're at it. I guess that's that's my ultimate point. Um, but yeah, so let me know what you guys think of this figure down in the comments below. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscribe, all the things YouTubers ask you to do. Just do it for me as well. And I will be back with another video, hopefully very, very soon. Bye.